family of a 15-year-old shot and killed by a Balk Springs police officer met with the Dallas County District Attorney today to talk about murder charges against that officer. We're also learning that the U.S. Justice Department is investigating this case as well. Steve Pickett, live for us at the Crowley Courts Building. Steve. Yeah, this was primarily a meeting to get some reassurance, if you will, from uh, the de uh, from this department, from the district attorney's office. The, the DA's office won't call it reassurance. They're just stating facts. They will prosecute this case, a case against a police officer for murder. But as you mentioned, they also, this family, receiving new news today about a Department of Justice investigation that will focus on the Bulk Springs Police Department. That coming from this meeting today, it is from the family, Odell and Charmaine Edwards, the parents of this 15-year-old, Jordan Edwards, who was killed uh, by this police officer in a shooting as he was leaving a party just a few weeks ago. The parents have filed a wrongful death suit as well. Uh, today, they told the district attorney uh, an issue of things that they want, in particular, these three things, the identity of other officers uh, at that shooting scene who may have filed false reports on this initially or actually even committed any criminal conduct. The words being used by their attorneys today also release any and all body cam or other car video from that shooting scene on that night from the police department. Support, they say, the DA's office should support the release of Roy Oliver's, uh, that police officer who was fired, any disciplinary records and complaints lodged against him. And then again, the request for the DOJ involvement with all of this. Anti-police brutality groups were a part of this today, and the attorneys for this family speaking out about all of this this afternoon. We hope that at the conclusion of this lawsuit, every police officer that was involved in this incident, indirectly or directly, are no longer on the police force. Uh, just a week or so ago, we heard from this family that they wanted to keep this private. This was a tragedy for this family. Now they have tied their hands with other organizations, the NAACP, Mothers Against Police Brutality, to say that this is broader than their son now, and they want action. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Steve, thanks.